I'm sure all of you know Anambra is not a rich state, so partnership is very, very important to us. We look for partners everywhere, other international partners like UNICEF, the rest of them, or local partners. And in the area of health now, and the education, one of our strongest partners is becoming the church. Where we are now is the EANU Hospital, owned by the Anglican Communion, and the government is into very strong partnership with them. We are building a number of residential and uh, other accommodation here. How many buildings? Five buildings the government is building. And we have spent more than 200 million naira on these projects. And they're still ongoing. Because the government believes healthcare cannot be done alone by the government. We cannot, one, afford it. And it cannot get down to the grassroots where we want it to get to. So in partnership with the church, we are doing this in Iyenu. We are doing this in Boromi, in Onisha. We are doing this in Waterside Hospital at Onisha. We are doing it at Adazi Hospital, where we are also doing a heart center. And we are doing it in Ihiala, a lady of lords. All together, we are, we are spending billions of naira on infrastructure for mission-owned hospitals. And like the governor said the other day, we are also supporting them to gain accreditation and sustain it and retain it. Because they are training nurses here and they are training midwives and all the health is now. And so far, it's working marvelously. So, welcome to Yenu and to one of the innovative things we are doing as a government. Thank you. Well, this, uh, this structure, as the Honorable Commissioner has said, I am Reverend D.K. Chukuruposa. I'm the hospital administrator and chief executive of this hospital. Just as the Honorable Commissioner have said, this is one of the projects that is being sponsored by the Anambra State Government. What we have here is our house officers quarters. We intend to go into the training of house officers soon. We have here a block of four flats. Each flat has four bedrooms and suits. Uh, we intend to accommodate in each flat four house officers. So totaling 16. Once this is done, we'll have at least accommodation for 16 house officers. So we'll be able to train at least 16. So the state government uh, is really sponsoring this, and it has promised to do more uh, to support us in this uh, vision of training house officers. We have um, other projects that we'll, we'll be showing you in, in a few minutes. Uh, we have also the theater complex that is also being sponsored by the Anambra State uh, Government. In that theater complex, we have accommodation for offices, we have accommodation for an ICU, an intensive care unit, and we have accommodation for two operating suits. It's really a modern theater complex. We also have uh, the School of Nursing complex. That one is also sponsored by the Anambra State Government. It's a complex that has accommodation for offices, two thirds offices, it has accommodation for conference room, and it has accommodation also for two large classrooms and a demonstration room. It is still, again, like the others we'll be showing you in just uh, a little while. The state government uh, sponsored that to help us gain our accreditation and retain our accreditation uh, for the training of uh, student nurses, for training of nurses for the health, uh, uh, for the health system, just as the commissioner has said. We also have the School of Nursing uh, Hostel, the School of Nursing Hostel, that is also being sponsored by the Anambra State Government. We'll be showing you that also in a little while. And also the School of Midwifery Hostel, which we'll be showing you also. All in, uh, in total, we have five projects on this compound that is being sponsored by the Anambra State Government. Questions? I'm Mazuko from Naya Africa Civil Society. I want to commend you for the good work you're doing. Uh, could it be correct to say that this is the first uh, school of nursing in Nigeria on the Eastern region? That is one. Two. What's the total number of uh, 
student nurses that you are having now, including that of the midwives. And can you, for record's sake, say how many? If you have the record, you have been able to train up to date. Thank you. I'm Benjamin Ango, RDI Civil Society. Uh, you agree with me that the problem we're having with health sector in Nigeria is the information about health. I don't know what are you doing about the health information system. Thank you. Well, um, to answer the first question, this hospital is actually the first hospital east of the Niger, in the whole of the eastern region, the entire eastern region of Nigeria. This is the first hospital. On this site, this hospital is a hundred and six years old. On this site, it has been in existence for about forty, close to forty years before moving to this site. <laughs> you might say so. It was in our nature at Ozala, in our nature. So on this site, it is exactly 106 years old this year. Okay. Now the school of nursing and midwifery, we will rightly say, is the first east of the Niger, the very first school east of the Niger. We have on records the first registered midwife in Nigeria was trained in the school of midwifery here in our school of midwifery. Uh, really, you're in thousands, uh, uh, almost hundreds of thousands. Really, we have people that have been trained here that are really doing wonders in the American health system, in the British health system. I've met a number working in the NHS in the UK. So many work in the US, uh, many work in uh, Canada. So, and many are scattered over Nigeria. Hardly any tertiary health institution in Nigeria that you will not find somebody who have been trained from here working there, a nurse or a midwife. Thank you. Do you have information on this? Um, yeah, the Federal Ministry of Health, in collaboration with uh, FHI 360 and Global Round 4, Nine has uh, developed a program 2.0 web based uh, data capturing uh, tool, and it's the it's in line that all the mission private and government hospitals will key into this uh, software. It is web based. Wherever you are, you can key in and get health data of an number state. Thank you. Well. Um, Honorable Commissioners, members of the National Good Governance Store, our nurses and midwives in training are the great students of this institution, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. First, let me congratulate the hospital for producing two serving commissioners now. First one is the Commissioner for Women Affairs, who was, who was your principal until her recent appointment. So you can see all of you are likely going to be commissioners sometimes. <laughs> the second one is the Commissioner for Information. This one is truly your product. You delivered him here in this hospital. <laughs> This one is your product. I'm, an, I'm not being told that uh, former Secretary General of uh, Commonwealth, Chief Anyaku, was also delivered by you. As far back as 1933, I'm told. So you can see this is really a very great establishment. And I'm highly delighted uh, to be here as part of the National Good Governance Tour. Uh, these are historic institutions. And like I've always said, um, so doctors always say they are the key issue in our medical system. I agree, doctors are very important, but they only treat is nurses that heal. Only doctors, only doctors, yes. 
Doctors administer treatment. Nurses heal patients. So nurses are very, very crucial. And that's why in many countries now, let me tell you, even if you go to the United States now, they are moving to getting nurses to act as doctors. It's happening now right there. Nurse practitioners are now taking the place of doctors. So, in a short while, the difference between a nurse and a doctor may not be the case in the future of medicine. So it's important that we get to know this, the, the new trends um, in the profession. So the ladies with the lamp, they will continue to remain the light of our medical service. Yes. As I'm happy to see them here. Um, having said this, let me congratulate Governor Peter Obi for his innovation in getting the government to work together with private institutions, particularly faith-based organizations, to deliver on education and health. The missionaries have always been the fulcrum of education in several parts of the country until the sad incidents of takeover of schools, which governments all over the country ran aground. Today we are seeing a new experiment in Anambra State, where missions have been asked to take over their schools, and government is supporting those schools with the payment of salaries and handing over the management to missionaries. I am told that because of this singular intervention, already the children of Anambra State are taking the front seat in NECO and WAEC exams in the country. Now you are doing the same thing with hospitals by providing infrastructure. Because I do know that when missionaries set up schools, those schools train people for government, for communities. What they are doing is actually helping government, doing what we ought to be doing. If somebody is helping you, you need to help the person to do more. And I think that should be the wisdom of governance as far as running our educational and medical infrastructure should be concerned. Let me therefore commend you for these interventions here. Yeah? And let me call on the students particularly, because you are the future. So I hope that the standards that were kept in 2004, I mean, one, 1907, right? Yes. 1904, uh, 1933, when Ayako was born, and I know 33 years ago when the commissioner for <laughs> information was delivered here. I hope you are keeping the standards. Because the important thing about institutions is not how long you have. It's not the legacy. It's not how long, how old you are. But whether you are maintaining the first position when it comes to standards. Academics. So what we want to hear here is that this uh, ENU hospital is not only the oldest east of the Niger, but the best. Where we can say you are the Oxford, the Harvard of uh, nurse training. This is what we will want. If you are not there, please, you better walk up and take that position so that your history will be justified by your own performance. Having said this, we are happy, we have seen good infrastructure, and we hope that it will continue to keep our academic work by our nurses and midwives. Thank you very much indeed. Members of the team will be doing a just so much. I, I think, can, can you come here, students? We want to hear from you. Huh. Yes. No, come, random. He will also speak. Yeah, can you? Actually, I thank the governor. <laughs> Anything you say here. My name will not be taken against you. My name is Gochuku Priska. And I'm a student nurse. Second year in this school of nursing. Actually, I want to thank the governor, the ministers, the governor Peter B for his great work in this institution. I want to thank him for his marvelous support that he has given, he has granted 
come to us for the infrastructures that we are building here. I want to thank you for every good things that he has done for us. We are so grateful because without them, without these accommodations, there is no way we will sleep. We will be sleeping on the floor, we will be sleeping in the road, but I thank him for his good work. So, God bless him. Yes, uh, my brother, how many male nurses are in training? We must give, you must give us our own uh, 35 percent. <laughs> He will speak, we know now. <laughs> <laughs> my, my name is Ugu Ifane. My name is Ugu Ifane. Actually, we are BTS students. But we are eight, eight boys in our set. Uh, I don't know for that set. Eight boys in my set. Out of 95 students. The boys are eight. Yes. Uh, <laughs> we need a family battery. Don't worry. Our honorable commissioners are still. Yes, sir. I stand so upon the existing. You still elected a minority. You are the Obama of this group. Thank you, sir. I'm um, student nurse Ethnol Emmanuel, a Fanei nursing student of this great institution. I want to use this privilege to thank the government of Nigeria as a whole or the great support so far. Um, specifically, the state governor, Governor Pito Biobutendibo, has been of a great, immense help to us. Um, on several occasions, he visited this institution. He never left us behind, the students. He always gave us a wonderful donations to help our operations so far. And I must tell you, Honorable Minister, that we are not um, the type that eat and deny. As a matter of fact, um, yes, sir. <laughs> we appreciate that to the extent of trying to um, envisage or plan things that will help the community, the society at large. As I'm talking to you now, sir, um, the SUG has organized a program that is to be held in five months' time, in Nurses Week, per se, um, and we have intentions of moving to the rural areas around this place in Newi, Asaba, Mbo, Ogidi, and even beyond. To um, notify, carry out a campaign, notify the people about diabetes, cancer, HIV, and AIDS. And I must tell you, sir, that we have sub submitted our proposals even to Globacom, and they gave us um, a positive response that they will call us back to give us their feedback. And I must also use this opportunity to plead to the federal government to support us as well, sir. Uh, we need, like, uh, we need the boss for our operations to move around and go about our um, operations to help us um, serve effectively. Also, we have some structures we are putting in place. Uh, to help us um, carry out our operations very well and also a lot of things in our hand. I will need um, the government support the, for both the federal and the state and also other companies and firms to help us. And we promise to make you proud. We promise to uphold the standard. Thank you, sir. Well, um, thank you very much. For, you know, I thought there should be this exchange uh, because I believe that when we go to a school, we want to hear from the students. Everything we're doing here is for you. Everything the government is investing, everything put in place is for your future. And uh, we really want to encourage you, you know, to make this country proud. Doing excellent. We must not reduce the standards. You should be people that will compete with nurses from America, England, Japan. You should beat them. We're used to beating them. So you should always keep up that standard. But uh, these days, people don't take their school's, you know, instructions seriously. You watch television most of the time, play with iPads, you are not prepared to read and so on. So if you keep to that, you will not be able to, you know, provide for this country the kind of manpower that we need. So we want people who will work very hard, you know, burn the night oil, come out excellently, and then uh, you do your best. But I want to commend Mr. President for the initiative to go out and begin to... Uh, teach the community certain things, you know, campaign against HIV, particularly HIV. I hope you people know that HIV is terribly is around, particularly for young people like you. You must be very, very careful because you just lose your life for no reason, you know. So you have to be very, very careful, be disciplined, and the best way to go about it is for save your own life, then you can save that of the community. So uh, you must save yourself first. We have to do a campaign to make sure that HIV on the campus is zero prevalence. Then we will take you seriously as you go out to save the lives of other people in the community. 
It's very, very important. We don't want to lose our young people. It's very important for us. So, um, because of uh, this campaign that you have announced, I am going to make a personal donation of 100,000. And this is on behalf of the National Good Governance. Day. So you will use it as part of your seed money to begin this campaign. So while you are waiting for interview, our honorable commissioners, I stand, yes, sir. I stand upon the existing. You still elected the minority. <laughs> Thank you, sir. I'm um, student nurse Ethnol Emmanuel, a Fanei nursing student of this great institution. I want to use this privilege to thank the government of Nigeria as a whole for the great support so far. Um, specifically, the state governor, Governor Pito Pio has been of a great, immense help to us. Um, on several occasions, he visited this institution. He never left us behind, the students. He always gave us a wonderful donations to help our operations so far. And I must tell you, Honorable Minister, that we are not um, the type that eat and deny. As a matter of fact, um, yes, sir. <laughs> we appreciate that to the extent of trying to um, envisage or plan things that will help the community, the society at large.